I've got to show you this. And it's hard to believe that in all these years I've never needed this. Something so basic. Some ifs are count ifs with an or condition. If you know about some ifs are count ifs, they will do a sum or a count based on criteria. But an or criteria is interesting. So we're going to look at this data. We got all these people in groups and how much they've paid. We want to get a count of the people who've paid at least $450 and are in group A or D. This is what we got to do. And it's pretty slick. Equals count ifs. What's the first criteria range? We're going to do the paid. Comma. What is the criteria? We got to do double quotes. Greater than or equal. Double quotes. Ampersand for and. And then cell G2. Comma. Now. Here is the sweet part. What is our next criteria range? It is this group column. Comma. Check this out. Curly bracket. Double quote. A double quote. Comma. Double quote. D double quote. Close the curly brackets. Close the count ifs. Enter. Look what happened. It has given us an 8 and a 7. We've got 8 in A and 7 in D. It's taking advantage of the new calculation engine or the dynamic arrays, right? So we've got the 2. What we need to do now is wrap the whole thing in a sum. Open parentheses, go to the end, close parentheses, enter. Ooh, look at that. But what do we do? We verify, always verify. Group A, 450. Yep, there's our eight. Go down to group D, 450 or more. There's our seven for the total of 15. But I'm going to take this out of the sum and we're going to do something else. Watch this. Get out of the sum. Delete that stuff. OK. Watch this. Go back into the formula. Change that comma into a semicolon. Ready? Enter. Now is vertical instead of horizontal. And if we wanted, we could have our result look like this. A R D. There it is. Countives with an or condition and two different layouts. We'll see you in the next video.